Uh, it was a tremendously rewarding uh, and challenging story to work on. Um, I think um, what I what was most interesting to me about that story was that um, it was an, it was an institutional story. I think she became the focal point for um, this intense frustration, both inside the New York Times and um, uh, outside the paper um, in the American public about how 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 did the biggest story of of in recent years how did how did the biggest um, most preeminent news organizations get it so wrong um, and and that story was again of course the um, coverage of Saddam Hussein's um, weapons of mass destruction in the run up to the war and I think she was for whatever reason became this um, this focal point for such this intense frustration and and um, that uh, you know, two years after the fact that you know America was tied up in this war, and, and the main selling point for the war proved to be false, and uh, and I think she took a, a, a lion's share of the heat. Um, and what you really see in covering a story like that is how institutions function under duress, and an institution like the New York Times, which has um, a, a tremendous amount of institutional um, inertia. Um, it's sort of an act of self-preservation that it has to excise this troubled um, 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 this element to to for the good of the whole. And she she was um, she was uh, you know the paper felt that you know she had to go for for the health of the the papers uh, to, to go forward. It's uh, you know it's 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 uh, a very you know complicated dynamic, but you know it's it was never it was not one one factor. It was you know you could it was this whole stew of factors, um, including um, uh, desire to cover the biggest story of the time, and which was after 9/11, was the administration's case for war. It was uh, so you have those competitive journalistic pressures. You have um, Intense pressure uh, placed on the paper by the administration to kind of toe the line. Um, in the summer of 2002, uh, the the critical stories that the Times did run on um, on the administration's case had drawn uh, had um, drawn intense criticism from both uh, the administration and the right. Um, I, and and then you had editors who who wanted to be out front covering the big story and all those combined channel duties reporting onto the front page. And it's, and it's interesting to note in the, um, the editor's note that the Times printed um, after the fact explaining the flaws in its coverage didn't name one person. It didn't name Judy. It didn't na name editors. And I think a lot of that was, a, was the paper's recognition that this was an institutional breakdown. Mm -hmm.